All right, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and make this operation game. Um, so what I do is I have my students color a picture, cut it out and put it on a piece of cardboard, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do from there, after that's done, and that usually takes a class period, I have them take some operation game parts that I 3D printed. These, they can make these out of cardboard if you uh, want them to. I have them take these and make, I don't know, three or four little spots to where they kind of trace around the operation game part. Let's do one, two, I'm just gonna do three here, like that, all right? And as you can see, I have a little station set up right here for my class so that the cardboard's up here. I only allow three of these box cutters out at a time, uh, just because I don't want them floating around and I, some students just aren't trustworthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a box cutter and I usually have to help them with this part. I'm just gonna kind of punch these out. I do stick a piece of cardboard that I like them to cut on, cut on so they one, don't scratch the table and two, because it makes it a lot easier to cut through. So I'm gonna cut through these real quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so from there, as we know, metal is a conductor. And I'm gonna put some foil on the back side of this. So I just trim up some pieces of cardboard like this. Um, and I take some aluminum foil and I take a glue stick and go ahead and glue the foil, man, to the glue stick or to the glue. All right, do that. I'm gonna put my foil on there. Grab one more piece. And then on the back side here, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to the back of this. Now, what you want, you do want this foil to stick out from the bottom, because um, again, you're gonna need this all to connect to make your circuit. So, um, the reason I do use the foil, because it is cheaper than the aluminum like tape. So I use the tape to connect these all. So I have them get a piece of it, and I just kind of trim it up and connect them all this way. You can absolutely put some foil on here to connect them all or put one big piece of foil on here. That's entirely up to you, but for me, my budget is really limited. So I go ahead and kind of cheat this way so that that way they all connect, okay? And I'm only gonna program this for one uh, pin on the micro bit. So I program this for pin zero so I don't want, um, I'm only doing one of these. So that's why I want them all to connect so that when the tweezers hit the metal, it'll complete that circuit. So I do also have them put one more piece of cardboard in each corner, just so that it like, it's flat and it's not tipping on them. that. All right. I'm going to trim. Oops, there we go. So 
So there you have it. That's how you build it. Um, okay, so the part with the micro bit where you set it up, you're gonna take your micro bit, you're gonna have your game pieces for your operation game. And I do have them use the battery pack, so I'll take my battery pack to set this up. Of course, there's already a program on there. Um, so after it's downloaded though, I'm gonna take my alligator clips. And what you're doing is you program, if you have the code, this for pin zero. I clip pin zero to the back on this foil. And then I take the tweezers and I clip it like this. And I put that on the ground wire again, because you're going to need to complete that circuit. So when I touch this, the micro bit should go off. So that is it. That's how you make the operation game.